Coming to you from Studio 703. A show bringing you what's happening on our campus. This is Bronco TV. Hey Broncos, welcome back to another episode of Bronco TV. I'm Sierra. And I'm a Suhas. What are you doing? Uh, training. I'm going to win Mr. Bronco next year. Okay. Well, let's check out how this year's Mr. Bronco went yeah. and all the other events on campus. Hey Broncos, it's Mia. There have been tons of exciting current events happening on our campus recently. Let's see what your fellow Broncos have been up to. Spoken Word Poetry Club and the RBHS Friends of the Library hosted the 2016 Poetry Showcase. It was a great night where many students had the opportunity to express their ideas through poetry. Our seniors shined during the Silver Star Awards as they were recognized for their impressive academic achievements. And a special congratulations to our seven semester Silver Star seniors. Many staff and students had ignited minds as they held the first TEDx RB High Conference. It was a successful event with many interesting speeches and performances. Great job to all the participants of the Mr. Bronco Scholarship Pageant. And congratulations to Kenny Rayburn, your 2016 Mr. Bronco. Winning Mr. Bronco was an amazing experience because I got to perform in front of like all my classmates and stuff like that. Preparing for Mr. Bronco, I practiced my talent a lot, probably about like four days a week. My advice for anybody trying out for Mr. Bronco is to do it 100% because I mean it's your senior year and that's that's the last like big shot that you have to do something that's fun. Hey Broncos, I'm Joy. And I'm Matt and this is your... ASB update. So I just had one question. Yeah, what's up, Joy? Matt? Will you go to prom with me? Aww. Well, speaking about prom, prom's gonna be on May 14th at the Cal State San Marcos Ballroom. Tickets go on sale May 5th and 6th for $60, May 9th and 10th for $65, May 11th and 12th for $70, and the last day, May 13th for $75. And seniors, don't forget, today during lunch in the small quad to vote for your prom court. So, Joy, uh, was that a yes? I'm Joy. And I'm Matt, and that was your ASB update. Hey, Suhas, is it too late to try out for any spring sports? Uh, yeah, I believe they're already going into CIFs. Really? I guess I missed it. Well, let's check out how our spring sports are doing now. Hey, Broncos, it's Nate. Spring sports are in the climax of their season as our Bronco athletes are shifting gears into the playoffs. With the spring season still running, our Bronco athletes continue to match the intensity of their competitors. Coming off the blocks, boys and girls track and field are dominating in all of their events. The girls took a hard fought win against the Green School in their final 4x4 relay race. In the pool, our swim and dive athletes are still going strong with a great match against Mount Carmel. Let's go. Boys Golf is owning the course as Palomar League champions with a record of 9-1. On the courts, Boys Volleyball led by captains Brendan McGinney and Tommy Winship continue to battle with tenacity. My job as captain of the team is to bring the team together and help them cheer on the points and just come together as one big family. I think one thing we can improve on is probably just the way we have fun on the court. I think a lot of the kids get down on themselves after each point and I think they could probably do a lot better of just cheering themselves up. One of the most important things that I wish I could tell our juniors is that it doesn't matter how you fall, it's how you get up. Well, we're a pretty young team, so that's definitely been one of our biggest challenges. Just making sure that everybody's mentally in the game. Good luck to the rest of our Bronco athletes pressing on to CIS. Como estas? Selva Ben. Ich auch. We obviously suck at this. Let's look at some people who are better at languages. Here at RBHS, students can learn a bunch of different things ranging from number crunching, global history, and the legacies of authors from centuries ago. 
We also explore exotic languages, cultures, and traditions through our foreign language department. In these classes, teachers are dedicated to teaching their students on not only other countries' languages, but also their customs, practice, and daily life. I think it opens doors. It gives you an inside look to cultures that you could never understand unless you actually speak that language. I ask myself when I plan my lessons, I ask myself, what do they need to learn? How do we make it as authentic as possible? And how do they have fun doing it? I always put myself into their shoes and I know how it feels to uh, venture into a foreign language and it's, sometimes it's uncomfortable. So I try to make them as comfortable as I can and I make it as fun as I can so that they feel safe and it's okay for them to take risks and make mistakes. I love the fact that here you get uh, a nice balance between uh, project-based learning as well as traditional teaching. Whether it's Spanish, German, French, you name it, it opens a lot of doors. I expect that they also can learn more about these things that you don't really learn from a textbook. I do expect that they can use the Spanish out of the classroom, help someone or communicate with someone or meet a new friend, you know, in, in, in Spanish. On a more serious note, in response to recent events that have occurred on our campus, a new gender-neutral bathroom has been installed at RBHS. It was created to keep our campus a more safe environment for everyone. Gender-neutral bathrooms have recently been installed on our RBHS campus. Making our students feel safe in the community is one of the primary concerns of the district. The safety and security of our students, how do we maintain that, that feeling of safety and security so our students can continue to learn? And how do we respect students on all sides of the issue? Rancho Bernardo High School is a no place for hate zone. The school tries to create a community that makes everyone feel safe. So the, the creation of a, the gender neutral restroom actually has been a conversation that we've been having as a school district. And so the conversation for us has always been, um, how can we provide a, a, an environment for all of our students to feel comfortable in? It's a law that you have to allow people to use the bathroom that they feel comfortable in. And we are simply complying with California state law. I think it's a good idea because there's some people who don't feel comfortable in like boy or girl bathrooms. So like making a bathroom separately for them and make them more comfortable, like I don't think that anybody else should take that away from them. I think that having this bathroom on our campus sets a precedent for you know the kids on campus who traditionally haven't had their voices heard. Well that's it for this episode, Broncos. Make sure to check us out on YouTube and, and subscribe. subscribe.